today I'm gonna be sharing with you a delicious Thai green curry recipe using a store-bought curry paste. If you prefer, you can use homemade paste as well. Love is the only secret ingredient here. I'm so happy that I achieved the same taste of the curry that we have in our favorite restaurant and very excited to share it with you today. Let's get started. I'm gonna start by melting a tablespoon of coconut oil. I use this curry paste which I really like, but you can use any paste you prefer. I'll cook this for about 2 to 3 minutes. Originally green curry color comes from green cayenne pepper. <laughs> Sounded like a rhyme. Anyways, originally yeah, curry's color comes from green cayenne peppers, but I noticed that store-bought pastes are often brown. No worries though, we're gonna do a little trick to give its color. Once the paste starts bubbling like this, add a bit of coconut cream to it to prevent the paste from burning. Now I'm gonna add a package of puffed tofu. I'll cut them into bite-sized pieces so that they can soak up much more taste. These tofus add a nice texture to the curry. Give it a mix. Then add one and a half cups of chicken style stock. Add a small size chopped capsicum and a large size chopped carrot. Close the lid and cook this on low heat until the carrots are softened. In the meantime, let's do our magic that will give a green color to the curry. For that, we blend half a cup of basil leaves with some coconut cream that is just enough to blend it. You can also blend this with a food processor, chopper or a hand blender, either one will work. Once the carrots are cooked, add this green mixture into the curry and add the rest of the coconut cream as well. Give it a mix. Voila! Can you see the difference? There we have our green color curry now. Now I'll add a can of sliced bamboo shoots that I washed. Add 2 tablespoons of chopped palm sugar. and 3 tablespoons of vegan fish sauce. Have a taste of the sauce and add more sugar or fish sauce to your taste. Be mindful of the salt in the fish sauce though. Now I'm gonna add a bunch of broccoli that is cut into florets. Now we'll add kaffir limes in it, but before that, we need to remove the thick center rain from the leaves. Add 5 to 6 kaffir lime leaves and half a cup of chopped Thai basil to the curry and mix it. Close the lid and simmer it for about 5 minutes. 
kefir lime and basil leaves will give their lovely flavor to the curry. Lastly, we'll add a bunch of chopped cilantro that will complete this delightful taste. Give it a mix and turn off the heat. You can serve it with rice, noodles or on its own. I hope you'll enjoy it. See you in the next recipe. Cheers!